Here are some tips to speed up your workflow in Affinity Photo or Designer. If you're working on a document with multiple objects, it is a good idea to use a global color palette. By using global colors, it is super easy to change the colors. All objects where the global color has been applied to will be automatically updated to the newly selected color, making experimenting with your design a breeze. If you're using repeating textiles, it makes sense to create a textile for it. Just like with the global colors, you can modify the textile and all the text using the style will be automatically updated. Another great way of speeding up your workflow is by using styles, especially when you're creating new elements. By using a style, you can apply a predefined list of properties in a very quick manner. Color tags are really powerful, especially if you work with a lot of layers which cannot be grouped together. The quickest way of assigning a color tag to a layer is by right-clicking on the enable switch and selecting the color. Once you have your color tags in your document, you can use it to quickly select the tagged layers. Right-click on a layer and choose Select Same Tag Color. This way, you can quickly change the properties of multiple layers. If you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, and you probably have, you definitely should be using it with Affinity Photo. Here are some options while using the mouse scroll wheel. You can use it to zoom by pressing the Alt or the Option key. While clicking and holding the mouse button, is a drag action. If you hold the shift key while scrolling, it will do a horizontal scroll. And when you scroll with the control or command key, you get a vertical scroll. Pretty cool. Master the following keyboard shortcuts, which will make you feel like a boss while using Affinity. Command or control zero, zoom to fit. Command J to duplicate, Space key to move around. Press the V key to enable the move tool. The B key for brush. Press the D key for resetting the colors to black and white. And X to exchange the colors. If you have a brush selected, press the brackets key to change the brush size. And while holding the shift key with the brackets key, you can change the hardness of the brush. And a very important one, Ctrl or Command C to undo. Press the backslash to clear the color of an object. With a semicolon, you can toggle snapping. Ctrl or Command semicolon toggles the guides. As a final step in speeding up your workflow, create custom keyboard shortcuts. Here are the functions I use most and my shortcuts. To add a fill layer, I have assigned the Alt-Shift-F key. To add a mask, I'm using Alt-M. To add an empty mask, Alt-Shift-M. A hide layer, Alt-H. Unhide layer, Alt-Shift-H. Deselect all layers, Alt-D and shift backslash to fill the color with mid-gray. Before I leave you, here is a bonus tip. You can turn on and off the spelling check from the text spelling menu. It will get rid of these red wavy lines. I also have a shortcut to it, which makes it super easy to temporarily disable it or enable it. Thanks again for tuning in and hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this video. Until the next time.